before your ultimate team coin needs, check out utcoinsforyou.com. There will be a link in the description. And if you use the code CHEZ, you can get yourself a 5% discount. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again with episode number 46 of the Chelsea Career Mode here on Xbox One. And boy oh boy, do we have a lot of action packed into this one episode. It is an absolute bumper episode so do be sure to stick around for the entirety of it because there is so much action going on in uh, in the three games we have today but one thing i want to ask you before we get jumped in is would you like would you guys like to see five episodes of career mode a week i'm thinking of double uploading on a wednesday and having career mode every single weekday so if you would like to see five career mode episodes a week as well as a road to division one episode on a wednesday so two vids midweek then let me know in the comment section down below and if you do want that then uh, that will start this week i'll uh, i'll upload five career modes a week from now on so uh, let me know in the comment section down below but this game we're starting a way into today and now uh, we won the champions league last year after beating Bayern munich in the final it was kind of a replica of the uh, of the 2012 final again replica result as well with chelsea coming out on top but we're in the first knockout step first knockout round now of the uh, the Champions League and this was just the most mental game away at Inter Milan we're playing at the San Siro now last year we had AC Milan in uh, in our group and uh, they were very very strong against this and uh, Handanovic man he was so so good all game long making save after save after save to be fair both teams were creating numerous chances there was just constant action for the entirety of both halves which is one of the most mental games I've played in a very very long time Handanovic again drawing a great save after uh, after Quadro Asamoa gets a brilliant shot away but Leroy Fur here is going to pick the ball up and uh, Ramirez is going to play a nice passing move around to Luis Muriel back to Leroy Fur over the top to Muriel again wonderful takedown and a tidy finish underneath the goalkeeper to give us a 1-0 lead just before half time all thanks to that ball from Leroy Fur he, I think that's his first assist for uh, for the club since coming in from Norwich and Luis Muriel what a striker he's been for us so far this season the takedown is beautiful the finish is exquisite and we go 1-0 up and we're going to continue the uh, the string of chances into the second half on the hour mark now Lewis Muriel again finding the outside of the post that's his second time we've hit the woodwork so far in this game we could be 3-0 up was it going to cost us we'll have to wait and see but Willian's playing the ball into Lewis Muriel here he's going to play a nice 1-2 with Ramirez lovely pass and move onto the end of the ball on the edge of the box first time hit so much power behind it that Handanovic just has no chance to claw it past the uh, past the post and we do take a 2-0 lead and a much deserved 2 new lead as well it has to be said Ramirez though has a shot there and it gets blocked by the defender but illegally so you'll see from the replay I think it's Jonathan going up and he's going to block it with his arm so Luis Muriel has the chance to claim a hat trick something that he hasn't yet done for the side since signing from Udinese so he's going to go to the left hand side hits the inside of the post again and of course because no other player has touched the ball yet he can't put in a rebound uh, as per the laws of the game so unfortunately he doesn't pick up his hat trick there and then Inter Milan come on the breakaway going to come very very close to picking up their own goal in this one but fortunately Thibaut Courtois is on hand to make a decent save and we are going to take a 2 win from this first leg and crucially two away goals as well which could be absolutely vital when it comes to uh, progressing in the tie overall but as you can see from the stats just a mental game so many chances chances for both sides more so for for us so it was a, a deserved win but uh, we definitely had to work for it because Handanovic was on form but uh, because we uh, we weren't able to bring in the players that we maybe wanted to do so in the transfer window and uh, if we don't or well, because we don't have a chance to spend the money that we have left over in the transfer budget I'm going to hire two very very good scouts so hopefully in the, in the future for next season if we continue the, they will be able to uh, to point out the best players possible for additions to the squad but the second game in this one is an FA Cup tie away at Newcastle United now Tim Krull has thwarted me time and time again in the previous 18 months or so in this Chelsea career mode and uh, we've already had one dominating goalkeeping performance from Handanovic so far in this in this episode and uh, I was hoping not to have something similar but we pick up a free kick on the edge of the box here early on in the opening 20 minutes or so it's Marco Royce really nice Ronaldo trot to take it around Colaccini completely does him you can see it's a clear free Free kick sticks the leg out brings him down and uh, I haven't yet scored a free kick with Marco Royce or I hadn't up until this point and uh, he's going to step up you can probably guess that it's going to end up in the back of the net from uh, the way that I described the goal and uh, you can see there's a fantastic free kick dispatched absolutely beautifully and uh, Tim Krul did actually get across and get a hand to it though unfortunately 
for him, though. He isn't able to keep it out. We do go 1-0 up. I'm still so annoyed that uh, Marco Royce's default celebration is the apology. It really, really wicks me off because it's just not what he would do in, in that sort of situation. But uh, anyway, Newcastle are going to get themselves back on level terms here. It's going to be Czech Teote picking up the ball on the edge of the box. Plays it into Churchy. Of course, he's been doing wonders for MZH in his Roma career mode. And he's come to strike me in the uh, in the rear here. Because he brings Newcastle back on level terms with a really tidy finish. But uh, this is the first time I've ever tried something like this in career mode. I'm actually going to end up KSIing the opposition. It works to Marco Royce and he pops the ball under the goalkeeper. And uh, there, this time, an apology celebration that really is... The, uh, the apt one and the appropriate one for that situation and uh, that's the first time I've ever tried to do that in a career mode episode and it is the last time I'm ever going to try and do that in a career mode episode so uh, don't worry I'm not going to start using cheap tactics for the for the majority of uh, of this season that's the only time that's going to happen but the lead didn't last long anyway because Mame Baram Juf is going to race through pop the ball over Thibault Courtois and, uh, or Petacek rather and into the back of the net it goes and we're back to 2-2 into the second half so uh, Lot Remy plays in Lars Bender is going to find Eden Hazard with a lovely ball over the top and how is that for a first time volley Tim Krull just stands there and watches it fly into the bottom right hand corner fantastic finish from Eden Hazard and that makes it 3-2 but Newcastle weren't done they're going to come back at me again we give away the ball cheaply two times and then Hatem Ben Arfa punishes us this time it's our goalkeeper Petacek that doesn't move and watches the ball fly into the bottom corner and we're back at 3-3 with 20 minutes to go and I made a couple of changes I brought on Oscar for uh, Lucas Piazzon and moved Royce out wide left and Oscar was going to have a fantastic start to his, uh, his brief a cameo appearance on the pitch lovely step over inside the defender pops the ball into the back of the net and we're in front yet again it's 4-3 away from home Newcastle were on the attack but this time we're going to catch them on a counter attack and this time we are finally going to put the game to bed Oscar set through one on one for the second time in five minutes steadies himself fires it into the bottom corner and we are going to run out 5-3 winners away from home at St James's Park. How good is that view, that picture by the way? That uh, camera angle from the uh, from the corner of St James's Park makes it look absolutely magnificent. I really do like that. But uh, 5-3 we're through to the quarter finals now of the FA Cup. So very, very pleased because that is a competition that I do want to get my hands on or a trophy I want to get my hands on. Won the Champions League last year as we've previously covered and the League Cup. So uh, the Premier League and the FA Cup are our focus this year and uh, winning 5-3 away at Newcastle is definitely going to help our cause. But uh, as you can see, we're four points clear in the Premier League right now. Four points clear of Arsenal. We're going to need to maintain our good run of form recently if we want to uh, to ensure that we keep that gap at the top. And Andre Schell is back in the first team here. Lewis Muriel, first time shot. I don't know how how Tim Howard has kept that out. It's a wonderful reaction save to uh, to deny the Colombian striker. And unfortunately, we aren't able to go in front. But uh, this game, after just action, action, action in the first three games, this one actually, unfortunately, kind of ended up as a bit of a damp squib. It was very, very wet. The uh, the quality of play wasn't as good as it previously had been in the earlier two games of the episode. We went in at half-time at 0-0. And those two shots were kind of the only two things that happened in the entire half. So we pushed into the second half. Marco Van Ginkel. Van Hinkle is, uh, I still don't know how to pronounce that name, is, um, He's in the starting lineup for this one and he's trying to uh, to make the work there. But Danilo has a great shot on him. And uh, unfortunately, Tim Howard makes another fantastic save. We're on to the hour mark. Nikit Sienovic finds a gap in behind my defensive line. And this time, we have to rely on our goalkeeper to keep them out. Petek makes a fantastic save with his feet this time. Really, it has been a goalkeeping masterclass from, uh, apart from the, the <laughs> apart from the 5-3 game in two of the three games. It's been a goalkeeping masterclass from uh, both our goalkeeper and the opposition. So they finished nil-nil, unfortunately, this time around we weren't able to maintain our good goal scoring run and uh, Arsenal still have that game in hand so the gap is five points but they can close it to two should they win that game in hand and Man United are only two points behind them so the gap at the top isn't as big as it could be and we'll just have to hope that the teams below us slip up just as we did in that final game there but that's going to bring this one to a close guys thank you very much for watching like I say let me know down below in the comments if you want to see five career mode videos a week and uh, if you missed the previous one from yesterday there'll be an annotation on the screen over that uh, little emblem there and uh, if you want to click subscribe then uh, feel free to do so there's a link in the description and an annotation on the screen of the subscribe button as well and of course feel free to leave the video a like as well guys that'd be absolutely superb if you could do that for me so thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time